Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be making for you a banana and cherry loaf. I hope you're all going to enjoy this one. This one is, is one what's going to be easy to do and you can get your kids involved with this one because they're going to be using their hands so you can get them involved with it. So I'm going to show you the ingredients what I'm going to be using for today. Right everybody this is our ingredients what we're going to be using today. I had some bananas what was left over what's ripened up so instead of just chucking them I thought I'd just do a quick recipe with them I've got um, some eggs I've got some caster sugar I've got my butter I've got my cherries and I've got some salt and flour in, in this one and I've got my sultanas and some chocolate chips in this one. So I hope you're all going to enjoy this recipe. So I'm going to just sort out myself and then I'll make a start. Right everybody, so I've got a mixing bowl. And into that, I'm going to put my flour. And this bit is just about a, half a teaspoon of salt. But you can see everything in the recipe or in the shopping list. We do have them at the beginning of all our cooking videos. And we're gonna put in our butter. So that's what's going in first. Right everybody, so we've got my butter, salt and flour in there. I'm going to get my hands in there, wash my hands. And you want to just make this into a crumbly mix. So you can get your kids involved with this recipe, like I was saying before. And I hope you're liking the videos that we're putting out. Please remember to like, share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell another friend. If you want to leave any comments, you can leave them in the comments section. We do get back to you on them. If we're not filming, then we're, we'll get back to you on them. So I'm going to do this. You want this into a, a crumbly mix. I'm going to do this and then I'll be back with you. Everybody, so we've got our mix down to a crumbly texture. That's how you want it, just like a crumble mix. Just leave that one side. Then we're going to get our bananas peeled. We're going to crush, and you're going to crush these right down to a pulp. So you can just you can use a banana crusher. Not a banana crusher, potato crush crusher, or you can use. Um, I'm going to just be using the back of a fork. And I'll save my skins. I've put those in my garden. Helps to deter the cats. So I'm going to crush this down. Then I'll be back with you shortly. Right everybody, so I've got these crushed out. You are going to get some lumps in there, but don't worry about them. So I'm going to put that to one side. I'm going to get back our bowl. Got a baking spoon. And into that, I'm going to put our sugar. I'm going to put our sultanas and our chocolate chips and I'm going to do our cherries you're going to want to cut these in half or you can cut them in quarters so you're just cutting it if just get a sharp knife and if you want to leave them in halves you can leave them in halves but these are just going to do in quarters And you, you want, if you've got a fan oven, you want it on 170, which is a gas mark 
four and it's going to go in the oven for about one hour or, or so until your skewer comes out clean. I get some people always say when they're doing cakes it don't come out clean. You forgot that you put like chocolate chips or things in there and you see a bit of it on your skewer and then you think it's not done and then you leave it in there longer and your cake gets dried out but remember that you've got chocolate chips in there as well so I'm going to do this and then I'll be back with you in a minute well, so I've got my cherries and sultanas and my chocolate chips in there I'm going to just give this a stirring in so that the cherries and that get coated with a bit of flour so they don't all sink So you just want to make sure that it's well incorporated. Alright, so we've got that mixed in. Got my eggs. Just going to lightly beat these in. So you're just lightly beating your eggs. Just pour that in. I'm just going to mix this in. And then you're going to add your bananas into that as well. You're going to mix that in and, in and you shouldn't need any more liquid than this. And you're going to need a loaf tin or if you haven't got a loaf tin you can use a round tin or a square tin whatever you want to use just make sure that you grease it first so you see it just comes together quite quickly so you make sure that's mixed in properly Right, so I've got all that mixed in properly, so I'm going to get my tin, and once I've done my tin, I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, everybody, so we've got our mixture ready. I'll just quickly line the tin. Got a loaf tin here. I'm just going to pour our mixture into that. Just want to make sure you get all of it off and just level it off the back of the spatula. Make sure you got it in the corners so that's what it looks like in a tin. And this is going to go in the oven for one hour plus, depends on, on how thick you got it and a how fast your oven is but don't put it on an anything higher than 170 or if you've got a gas oven it's going to be gas mark three to four so don't put it in on any higher than that so i'm going to put this in and when it's ready to come out i'll show you what it looks like everybody so we've had this in our oven now for one hour 25 minutes That's what it looks like when it come out of the oven. Got a nice golden brown top. You can see just the chocolate, what you're going to see melt out on the thing until when it cools down. Now what you want to do, you want to get a knife and then just go around the sides like this, make sure that it's not stuck. So 
so there you have it banana and cherry loaf so i hope you all enjoyed this one please remember to like share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell another friend if you want to leave a comment leave them in the comment section we will get back to you and thanks for watching and see you all on the next one